What's going on, y'all? What is up? What is up? It's your boy, Straight of Reviews, baby. Oh, yeah. They got me fired up. They got me popped up. I love to have fun doing what I do. I love to have fun talking that. You know what I'm saying? S-H-I-T. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing for many, many years. You know what I'm saying? Talking that. People love straight up reviews. You know what I'm saying? People hate on straight up reviews and turn back around and end up loving straight up reviews. You know what I'm saying? Real raw nut cut. Also act this way in real motherfucking life. Real raw nut cut. You can't handle my attitude. You can't handle me talking and joking back with you. You don't need to be around me because I'm the type of person that just love to have fun. Say, hey, 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 little buddy. Clown back. Say something back. Just don't let me sit here and talk some shit to you. You know what I'm saying? Let's both have a laugh. And then if I feel that you got me, then you got me. But situations get salty when people on social media take your words out of context. Something very, very little. And they spread it around. Around, around, around. And yap they mouth and spread it all big around like licking my salty butt cheeks. And thinking that the perfect world is a Mario Land 3D. Like I said, if you can't handle the straight of reviews, won't you hop down that Mario tunnel. Bloom, bloom, bloom. So I can take a boo on it because they already know straight of reviews. Is the straight what y'all? Nah. I'm not gonna say the word on YouTube. I'm just gonna spell it out for you. S H I T. But we're gonna get to the situation about this right here. So I had a smidget, pretty, pretty much fun with it, just a little bit, but it's not up to par. Check my review. You know what I'm saying? If it's still up, I think it's on private. I think I put it on private until further notice. So, anyways, y'all, everybody is enjoying my gameplay because they say finally we see some gameplays about the. G.I. Joe games because the, the company has not been putting up any gameplays and that means the game is probably just trashy. But need to mind you, these people is coming at me about some embargo. You know, some embargo crap. And they're telling me, hey, straight reviews, you know better than that. You're not supposed to put up that game before release date because they're going to ban your channel. And it just kind of dawned on me like, you know, because then I got the email from a random person and, you know, I've been having haters all week coming at me about this damn game, talking crap, you know, asking me, hey, how'd you get it early? Oh, man, you must have started with your fat black ass, you know, blah, 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 you can't afford a game. You, you, you. Come on, now, you see, see all these Switch games right here in the back? That is 300 and something Switch games, and I got 600 and something games in my gamer closet. I do everything my damn mother, bitch. like always, we're on the cut. But let's go back to the email situation. So me, in my mind, I have a lot of haters coming at me just talking out of nowhere. Because it's either jealous that I got the game before them, or it's either jealous that everybody loves the straight up reviews and they don't have the love that I have. So I wake up out of my fat ass sleep, rub my eyes, and I'm getting somebody writing like they some type of company person, but I don't see no logo. I don't see nothing saying gaming mills in the day on email. I don't see nothing. It just said management you know so I'm going in like you need to take down your video or this and that and that and that so I started going in and calling him a snitch you know what I'm saying leave my channel alone and stop snitching I'm like oh so little homie want to snitch on Twitter and direct my comment to all his little army buddies out there and you guys already know that I'm already pumped up ready to talk more S-H-I-T emoji. <laughs> Y'all better tell them to leave me alone because they don't want to see the old straight of reviews. They don't want to wake up Daddy Bear. No, they don't want to wake me up because I've been so hibernating for many, many years. <laughs> because I said something else. You guys already know how I go in. You know, already pumped up, revved up. So I'm thinking little, you know, the person, you know, the, the homeboy that emailed me. I'm thinking he ahead. And I go back and said, oh, he a cool ass person. Oh man, this 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 person is really really cool. You know, he got his branding situation is 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 on tap. And you guys already know that's not me to be going in on people that's really really cool. Not unless you're trying to disrespect me. But but you know, so I you know I manned up y'all and you know went back personally to you know the email and really wrote him and told him that hey whatever I said I'm sorry. I said I'm the type of person that love to have fun, love to joke around. You know, saying no telling what comes out of my mind. Because really, because really what got me was, he said, you know, good luck to being blackballed. So that, that right there really set me off and said, blackball, blackball, blackball from future, you know, um, influencers and companies reaching out to me. I'm like, hold on, homie. I'm thinking in my head about to blow the hell up like a Mario fireball. 
when was the last time any of y'all reached out to me? <laughs> I do all this myself to tell you real raw and uncut. And I do appreciate the ones that have been reaching out to me, all the companies, because they know the real. But in this industry, they don't want to be the real. They always want to support the fake. Well, everybody on Twitter, around social media, seen the little stuff that I said. Even though I was joking, they want to chime in. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Speak their little fairy tale world like they don't never talk that SHIT in their mouth. Like they don't never do any bad. Oh, he's a bad creator. I'll never work with him. Oh my gosh, he's a professional. Thank you for telling us. We're going to put him down for bad. I'm pretty, pretty sure somebody and a couple of people are going to actually get, oh my gosh, you see him, what he said to us? Let's ban him some more. Real raw and uncut. I only hold people down that know the realness in the straight up reviews because a lot of people out here are a lot of people are fake you know what I'm saying in the industry a lot of people butt kiss you know so I'm just gonna put it out there I've never been a butt kissy person now why do you think straight up reviews don't have high top letter a bunch of views that's because I don't lick in the inner booty hole like these other people out here like Mr. Clean Man, but then you got these little people coming in you know, oh, oh, he said that. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's, oh, why did he say that? Oh, I wouldn't work with him. Oh, no. Shut y'all. Like y'all don't go around talking stat my emoji boo boo every damn day out your dang mouth. Get up out of here. This is not a perfect world, y'all. Then you got these little phonies coming in after I, you know, uh, uh, announce my apology. They're talking about, ah, he does not mean it because he shouldn't even said that. You know what I'm saying? Them are the ones that be crawling. Oh, help me. I'll do this for you. I'll suck your acorn nut if you just put this out here for me. Let me get known by cloud chasing. You know, little homie came real with me and said, you know, get on social media and let the, you know, people know that I apologize. And I did. And I really, really meant that. And it's really, really insincere to me because for the simple fact is that straight up reviews is not like that. But you did put the uh, flames on the fire by telling your little homies what I said. You know what I'm saying? You could have just handled it man to man. We could have just moved it on from there. You could have just blocked me. <laughs> but I do appreciate you helping a brother out about this embargo stuff from getting my channel taken down, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry for saying you doing this to me because I'm a brother. You know what I'm saying? But now, if I'm in the wrong, and I know you cool, and I'm, and I'm digging around for information that's really legit, I'm going to own up to my responsibility. I'm going to own up to my mistake. So, like I said, y'all, I'm still going to be doing me. So, you guys, you know, go pick up um, G.I. Joe's if you are really, really loving this game when you get your hands on it. Check out my review. Check out my gameplays when they come back up. But like I said, I love everybody that's checking out the straight reviews. You know what I'm saying? And, um... And like I said to um, the homeboy that hit me up in the email, hey, look, bro, I'm sorry, real raw and uncut. And I know you said that I may be mad at you. Hey, I was never mad at you. I was just coming in kind of a little heated because I thought you was a little hater, bro. And um, hey, to all the influencers out there, you can think about me all you can. You know, real raw and uncut, you can come work with me if you, if you want to. If you don't, it's all damn good. I'm going to go eat my motherfucking bowl of top ramen and take a fat ass shit. Ah, I'm out.